Good morning. In addition to our mass intentions this day, let us also remember our first and frontline responders, our local faith communities, family, and friends. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. My sisters and brothers, gather this day giving thanks and praise to Almighty God. We once again open our minds and hearts to his ongoing call to mercy, healing, and compassion. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty God, lead us to share in the joys of heaven so that your flock may faithfully respond to the call of the Good Shepherd, he who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. One night, while Paul was in Corinth, the Lord said to him in a vision, Do not be afraid. Go on speaking and do not be silent, for I am with you. No one will attack and harm you, for I have many people in this city. He settled there for a year and a half and taught the word of God among them. But when Gallio was proconsul of Achaia, the Jews rose up together against Paul and brought him to the tribunal, saying, This man is inducing people to worship God contrary to the law. When Paul was about to reply, Gallio spoke to the Jews. If it were a matter of some crime or malicious fraud, I should, re I should with reason hear the complaint of you Jews. But since it is a question of arguments over doctrine and titles and your own law, see to it yourselves. I do not wish to be a judge of such matters. And he drove them away from the tribunal. They all seized Sosthenes, the synagogue official, and beat him in full view of the tribunal, but none of this was of concern to Gallio. Paul remained for quite some time, and after saying farewell to the brothers, he sailed for Syria, together with Priscilla and Aquila. At Sancria, he had shaved his head because he had taken a vow. The Word of the Lord. God is King of all the earth. God is king of all the earth. All you peoples, clap your hands. Shout to God with cries of gladness. For the Lord, the Most High, the Awesome, is the great king over all the earth. God is king of all the earth. He brings people under us, nations under our feet. He chooses for us our inheritance, the glory of Jacob, whom he loves. God is king of all the earth. God mounts his throne amid shouts of joy, the Lord amid trumpet blasts. Sing praise to God, sing praise. Sing praise to our King, sing praise. God is King of all the earth. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, amen, I say to you, you will weep and mourn while the world rejoices. You will grieve, but your grief will become joy. When a woman is in labor, she is in anguish because her hour has arrived. But when she has given birth to a child, she no longer remembers the pain because of her joy that a child has been born into the world. So you also are now in anguish. But I will see you again, and your hearts will rejoice, and no one will take your joy away from you. On that day, you will not question me about anything. Amen. 
Amen, I say to you, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. The Gospel of the Lord. In today's Gospel, the Lord reminds us that we will always be at odds with the world. The Lord offers us encouragement, acknowledging that any grief we may experience will ultimately be replaced with lasting joy. The grief that the disciples had experienced would also be replaced with great joy, as their hope and absolute faith in the risen Christ would allow them to see him once again. As those words of encouragement in John's gospel continue to resound in the hearts of those who believe. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again, so that where I am, you also may be. Today, the Lord verifies that hope to be fulfilled. I will see you again, and your hearts will rejoice and no one will take your joy away from you. My sisters and brothers, as we live our faithful discipleship in the risen Christ, we see that we are called to be the counterpoint to the negativity of the world, to bring faith, hope, and compassion to a world that is often filled with despair or anger or pain. By the grace of the Holy Spirit, we become a unique enhancement to the world a positive influence, so that the world may find its way out of the darkness as we share the light and love of the risen Christ. As we celebrate and live our faith this day, let our petitions to God be heartfelt be offered with confidence, as the Lord always hears us. That as we preach the gospel in word and through our actions, many will come to know Christ and find the fullness of salvation. We pray to the Lord. That all who serve in public office may promote policies that preserve the values of Christ. We pray to the Lord that all families may be blessed with good health and always strive to make love and forgiveness evident in their lives and relationships. We pray to the Lord. That all who have died may be forever blessed in the light, happiness, and peace of God's kingdom. We pray to the Lord. And for those prayers, hopes, and petitions we hold this day, in the silence of our hearts. God of mercy and compassion, your blessing fills us with strength and renews our hope each day. In your kindness, hear and answer our prayers in a time and way that will be of benefit to all. Through Christ our Lord.
Pray, my sisters and brothers, that this, our sacrifice, and the sacrifices of our own lives, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, grant that we may always find joy in the Paschal Mysteries, so that the spiritual renewal, which is constantly at work within us, may bring us unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks but in this time above all to praise you with greater glory when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to everlasting life and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are fully open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death and in his rising the lives of all rise again. Therefore, filled with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are indeed holy, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly ask. By that same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. 
Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look upon the offering of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim, by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Paul the Apostle, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. Lord, may this sacrifice of all reconciliation advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, your servant, Pope Francis, Alberto, the bishop of this diocese, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayer of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, grant kind admittance into your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow upon the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. United this day in voice and heart, and joining Christians throughout the world with faith, hope, and confidence, we once again echo the prayer of the Savior. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not upon our sins, but upon the faith of your church gathered here this day, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. My sisters and brothers, for our world, for those who are around us, for those who are near and dear to us, we offer a sign of peace this day. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, 
you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Body of Christ. My sisters and brothers, at this time I invite you to pray the prayer for a spiritual communion. Let us pray. O God, out of love for your people, you have given us the one true and good shepherd. Continue to lead and guide us, your flock, and one day, through the precious blood of your Son, settle your flock in eternal pastures of light, happiness, and peace. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Please bow your heads as we pray and ask for God's grace and blessing this day. Through the resurrection of his Son, God has redeemed you and made you his children. May he bless you with joy. Amen. The Redeemer has given you lasting freedom. May you inherit his everlasting life. Amen. By faith you rose with him in baptism. May your lives be holy, so that one day you will be united with him forever. Amen. And may the grace and blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you, remaining with you now and forever. Our celebration is ended. We go forth each day to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia.